and welcome back to Chain Do. Today is the 26th, and I am Jay. Welcome back to my program. Um, various things I need to talk about in this issue. I'm here. At, I'm actually here at Quan Zai Xiang's uh, wide and narrow uh, alley in Chain Do. It's a pretty famous site, but not exactly um, antique or of any historical value really it's more of a economical value it's very very touristy and yeah just touristy very very much all touristy so um oh various things i need various things i need to talk about for example um no oh, look how very French-like of them. <laughs> Goddamn French. Um, sorry, did I just say that? I mean, um, French people are nice. Um, I love French people. Oh, another thing. Uh, I, I won't be able to go into... I will not be able to go to Tibet due to various reasons, such as Chinese government will not issue any Tibetan visa to any foreigners. Being a foreigner... Myself, I cannot go into Tibet. Um, why they won't issue Tibetan visa? It is because it is a very particular, per peculiar time, very intense time period. For example, this year is the 90th anniversary of the Communist Party, uh, Chinese Communist Party. Uh, also, the 60th anniversary of the liberation of Tibet, if you call it liberation, but. Uh, uh, so they're having some, you know, celebration in Tibet and uh, uh, some high status official, high position official are entering Tibet. So to keep all um, foreign elements or uncontrollable elements out of Tibet, they have stopped issuing any visa to foreigners. Henceforth, I mean, therefore, I cannot enter Tibet. Uh, my my original plan was going to uh, going into uh, Kunming. A oh, fine. <laughs> I have to take photos for these guys. <laughs> Kiko and her uh, cousin and her sister. Uh, I'm here with them actually, but um, let me get back to my topic. I was talking about I was originally planning on going into um, going to Kunming, going to Yunnan, and go to Tibet from the south via the bus, large tour bus. But unfortunately, my plan will not work because I was planning on sneaking by, but apparently they set up like nine different checkpoints to check for sneaky people like me and therefore I will not be able to sneak it um, what else is there that you talk about um, oh, cute kids what else is there mm. so I will not be going to Tibet and therefore also I will not be entering uh, Yunnan I've changed my plan to staying over here uh, for a few more days and going to the Tibetan uh, special zone in uh, Sichuan. They have Tibetan area in Tibetan people living in Sichuan. So I'll go into their uh, special area and uh, you know show you how they live and their culture over there. So, that's kind of like visiting Tibet. Maybe even better, you know? Even better than visiting Lhasa. Um, also, another thing is I will be going to Xinjiang still. Uh, probably going to Xinjiang and then Inner Mongolia. Move, move from Xinjiang to Inner Mongolia. And then get to, uh, get to Beijing. So, that, that's my new plan. Um, 
Iris, uh, the girl I was with a couple of, couple of days ago. She's already gone off to Tibet. I'm so sad. Unfortunately, um, I am not a Chinese national, so I cannot go into Tibet. Mm. Oh, she. Yes, I also now double as a cameraman and bag handler or various sorts. Mm, bye bye. Why is Oh, okay. Damn. Yo. So. <sighs> this place is so commercialized I, this that's the part I hate about China and oh, that's the part I hate about the new China actually a lot of the older crafts and uh, building crafts traditional arts traditional craft uh, I don't know uh, craftsmanships are all gone all gone and they just make it into a tourist zone a commercialized area which is sad, very sad, at least for a anthropology student. Very sad. <laughs> I don't ha I don't have any other word to describe other than sad. So I'm here to experience the Chengdu lifestyle and the traditional Chengdu. Uh, vibe but it turns out it's just a very very sad affair so here I'm here with Kiko and her sister and her cousin they've just arrived from Wuhan today Hi. <laughs> <sighs> I've been really, really terribly sick to, for the last week. I actually got better today. I'm better today. I'm a lot better. Still a little bit sneezy and coffee, but all good. Again. I am Oh, life is hard for me so, what once used to be a very quiet, traditional back alley is now a complete commercialized zone. Everything is for sale. Everything is for sale in China. Except for the land, you can't buy the land. You're <laughs> So that's my schedule for the next couple of days. I think I'm gonna stick around a little bit. Uh, I'm contemplating, I'm thinking about going to the Panda Conservation. 
I'm thinking about going to the panda conservation, but uh, apparently the panda are really fat and lazy and they don't move too much and you have to pay a lot of money to enter. <laughs> I think it might be worth it. So I, I might have to go and also I'm thinking about going to watch the traditional uh, traditional China, uh, Sichuan opera, Sichuan uh, theater arts. Uh, that's also quite expensive. I don't know. What do you think about it? I do, I do have the money, but I don't really want to throw money around. It's not my style. I'm not really short on money. But throwing money around is not my style. I'm stingy. <laughs> <sighs> All right, that's it for this episode. See me uh, signing a lot. <laughs> uh, I'll see what else is uh, up and interesting later. Uh, if you're in Sichuan, Kondaishan might be a good uh, touristy spot, but if you're not really into the whole touristy and shopping stuff, yeah, you might not want to come here. It's not all that interesting. It's same thing. I mean, all over China, they have these kind of areas, areas where it's just complete... Uh, touristy zone, you know, restaurants and coffee uh, coffee shops and tea, tea shops and just people lounge around and um, buy things in all over China, every city you can find it, so it's nothing all that, nothing all that interesting, nothing all that special nothing unique so, that's it I'm sorry I'm being, I'm being so negative, but it is just depressing to see like good traditional stuff like, I don't know, it's more like my, my fantasy's ruined. <laughs> Reality of capitalism smash into my fantasy. That's it. I'll see you guys later.